a one bit full ladder so why one bit full ladder because in next example is we have to design a four bit ripple carry adder so without a one bit full ladder we can't design a four bit full ladder so that's why first we go with one bit full ladder next we have to go with what next move on to a four bit ripple carry adder so here you name it as one bit full ladder or you simply name it as full ladder so before going to any a gate level coding first we have to write block diagram then true table then based on the true table we have to write the equation so based on that equation we have to write the logic circuit so based on that logic circuit we have to write a code for a one bit full adder both design as well as stimulus so first we have to write the block diagram here so you simply name it as full adder then we have to assume inputs and outputs a and b is the inputs then you have to apply some carry here so name it as c in then sum and carry name it as sum as well as carry so this is the block diagram so next we have to write the a true table so true table can be written as so a b c in then sum then carry so when it is 0 0 0 sum 0 carry 0 when it is 0 0 1 then sum 1 carry 0 0 1 0 then sum 1 carry 0 then 0 1 1 then 1 plus 1 sum is 0 then carry is generated then 1 0 0 then sum is 1 carry is not generated that is 0 1 0 1 then here sum is not generated carry is generated then 1 1 0 1 then after 1 1 0 then here also 1 1 is carry generated here then 1 1 1 then here sum is equal to 1 and carry is equal to 1 so based on the, this true table we have to write the equation so we know that equation of sum and carry with respect to full ladder okay we already discussed in basic electronics you already studied in basic electronics as well as digital circuits okay so that's why here i directly write the sum equation as well as carry equation so sum equation can be written as sum is equal to a xor b xor c in so this is the what a sum equation then carry equation can be written as carry is equal to a b plus c in into a xor b so you can also write a b b c in plus c in a okay both are same so here we need more gates to write the to design the a full ladder circuit using what this equation a b plus b c in plus c in a so three and gates as well as some or gates is required so that's why we further reduce this equation so it can be written as a b plus c in a x or b so here sum is what a x or b plus x or c in you can possible to utilize this gate in carry so that's why we write a b plus c in into a x or b so after this we have to write the a logic circuit so based on that logic circuit we have to write the design code and based on the design code we have to write the stimulus code so here first we have to write the logic circuit here so logic circuit can be written as a b c in a three inputs here so first a x r b so here we have to assume a two inputs one that is two input x or gate as well as two input or gate then two input and gate so first a x r b then with respect to in here so here getting a x r b so here you have to apply c here so finally this equation is equal to sum is equal to a x r b x r c in okay the sum is completed here next we write carry equation first a and b A, then next 
B that is and together we're using and gate so here a B is getting first one next seen a X or B so a X or B is available here so a X or B available with respect to we need multiplied with what a scene so scene is available here so you have to select scene so scene and a x r b scene and a x r b and together so and get so here we get scene then a x r b right then after this a b it's work together so we are using or get here so this can be written as so here a b is available here that is connected to or get then here add together then it getting a final carry equation so based on this one we have to write the a design code so here we have, we need to assume some select lines here okay so that first select line here this is the what intermediate signal so this can be written as you have to assume it's an s1 then any other select lines required obviously one more select line is required here that is s2 then one more select line is required that is here s3 so there are three select lines required you can name it as any name here we have to assume s1 and s2 s3 so again i repeat this so here we have to design a one bit a full adder or you simply mention a full adder here okay why full adder because a next topic is what a four bit triple carry adder so when you design the 4 bit triple carry adder and that time you should know the all the operation clearly about the a full adder circuit so that's why we discussed the full adder first then here this is the block diagram for full adder a and b is the inputs then we have to apply the carry in it may be either 0 or 1 so someone carries the output so this is the truth table here so we have to apply some inputs we are getting a summon carry so based on this summon carry we already know that what we already studied in basic electronics as well as a digital system design that is a third semester subject so based on the this truth table we have to write the equation a x r b x r c in that is carry equation a b plus c in a x r b so here a b b c is the what another equation so why we reduce this one because of here it requires more gates here that is a three and gates and as well as two xr or gates requirement so that's why we have to reduce this equation it can be written as a b plus c in a x r b so here we just observe the sum equation that is sum equation is equal to a x r b x r c in so here we have to assume a two inputs xor gate so that is a xor b you can possible to what utilize a xor b in carry equation then after this based on this equation we have to write the a logic circuit so what are all the requirements here so two xor gates is required that is two xor gates then two and gate is required then one or gate is required so this is logic circuit with respect to a one bit adder one bit full adder okay then based on this circuit we have to write a design code that is very log design code using gate level description so next we have to write the code here so the name is always start with module so name of the module you have to mention full underscore adder so inside what a full adder you have to mention the what a module terminals so what are the terminals available here a b c in sum carry then after this you have to declare a module terminals so in terms of inputs and outputs 
सो इनपुट कैन बी रिटर्न एस ए बी सीन देन आउटपुट कैन बी रिटर्न एस सम कैरी ओके देन वंस यू डिक्लेयर द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट we need to clear the intermediate signals is s1 and s2 and s3 so intermediate signals in verilog hdl can be written as wire s1 s2 s3 these are all the intermediate signals then after this so this is a gate level description so in gate level description so we have to instantiate a each and every gate so here there are some primitive gates available with respect to verilog hdl that is we discussed in starting of this module right so using that primitive gates we have to mention the what equation that is sum and carry so first we take one by one we have to mention a inputs and outputs so first we take first one that is here we better we name it as 1 2 3 4 then 5 okay so on that time you can easily understand the usually instantiate each and every gate so first instantiate is xor so the name of the xor primitive gate is in mention xor so here you have to mention x1 that is the name of the instantiation so inside the bracket so we know the rules and regulation with respect to when you declare the a gate here so first you have to mention the output what is the output of first gate a and b is the input s1 is the output so that's why here s1 then what is the inputs a comma b then after you have to instantiate one more gate that is xr you name it as x2 so in xr2 that is what is the output here sum is the output so what is the inputs here then s1 as well as seen so here you got to mention what is the output then sum is the output then what is the input s1 is the input then seen is the another input then after this take gate 3 that is and gate so name of the what primitive is the and then here you name it as a3 so what is the inputs and outputs for and get this one what is the input here so a is the input then b is the other input what is the output s2 so s2 is the output then a and b is the input right next we take fourth one that is and a4 so for this one what is the input here that is s c in right c in then as well as s1 is the another input what is the output s3 so here s3 comma s3 is the what output what is the input s1 and seen right then the after this r together that is r gate that is the final one then you name it as a5 so what is the output of r gate then carry is the output what is the input so input is available from s3 as well as s2 that, that is carry s3 s2 okay then after this module should be what end that is end module so this is the code for the design block using gate level description again i repeat this module name of the module we have to assume full underscore order is the name of the module then after this you have to mention the module terminals so what are all the terminals available here a b c in sum and carry these are all the terminals belongs to a full adder then after module terminals you have to mention the inputs and outputs that is input a comma b c in then output sum comma carry then there are three intermediate signals belongs to a full adder circuit you just observe the figure so based on that figure you have to mention s1 and s2 and s3 then after this here the speciality of a gate level description there are some primitive gates are available we already discussed with respect to starting of the module 3 so based on that one we have to mention the a primitive gates so here 
there are three different primitive gates with respect to full adder that is XOR, OR and AND gate. So here you have to mention each and every gate XOR, X1. So output of XOR1 is S1. First you have to mention the S1 that is the a rule with respect to gate level description. Then A comma B is the input. For XOR2, X2 is the name of the gate, name of the instantiation. Then sum is the output. Then S1 and C1. Similarly for the all gates. Then there is a module, it should be end, that is end module. So this is a design code belongs to a full adder circuit. Next move on to a stimulus code. We need to test this code. Okay, that test can be done by using a stimulus block. Next, we have to test the each and every data. That is module stimulus is the name of the a stimulus block. Then after this, you have to mention a register and wires. So what are all the register, what are all the data we have to store here, you have to test here. That is register A, B, C, in. right. Next we need to mention the wire. That is wire is sum, comma, carry. Then after this very important step is we have to instantiate the a design block with respect to a stimulus block. So that can be done by here. The name should be what? A same. What is the name of the design block? That is full adder. That is full adder you have to mention. You have to name one instantiation that is you have to name mention F1. So first when during the instantiation first you have to mention the output. Next inputs. So what are the outputs? Then sum carry then after this inputs that is a b c in. that is the what instantiation process then after instantiation next we have to initialize the each and every data first initial initial we have to apply the what two or more data that's why we are using a begin here first we have to initialize that is A is equal to 0, then B is equal to 0, then C is equal to 1. Okay, then after this, you have to display the result, right? So that's why I mentioned dollar display, dollar display, then inside the display, you have to write A is equal to percentage B, then B is equal to percentage. B again C in, in, applied in terms of percentage that is C is equal C in is equal to percentage B. Then what is the output here? Sum and carry. We need to start getting in terms of binary only. That is sum and carry. Sum is equal to percentage B. Then carry is equal to what percentage B? Okay. After this, we have to display the A inputs and outputs. So A B C in then sum comma carry okay so after this when you display the result then you have to apply just one data then that is enough then initial you have to apply one data that is a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 c in is equal to 1 then display the result that is dollar display a is equal to percentage b it indicates a binary data then all what a b c in sum and carry in terms of binary then after this display the what a result display the inputs and outputs that is a comma b c in sum carry then after this end module that is the a module n so after the apply some data what is the output here then obviously when a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 c in is equal to 1 so sum is equal to 1 it display then carry is equal to 0. So this is the output result after the a design and stimulus block. So this is a 4 bit full adder using gate level description that is this one design block and a stimulus block.